So it's been a while since I posted. Um, you might be starting to think maybe I've given up or dropped off a bit. <laughs> and it's been close a couple of times. But I've been hard at work, mainly on the software, but also partly on the hardware. I'll go over the hardware first, just seeing so it's out here, nice and laid out. First thing you might notice is this over here, which is a character display, 20 by 4 characters, which isn't massive, but it'll do for what we're doing now. Not really attached, it's just sort of hanging off the side there. Um, I'm looking to get a larger display at some point, because it is a bit cramped. Um, a slightly less obvious change. Last time you saw it, when it was just going beep, it was going about 2.5 MHz. Well, exactly 2.5 MHz, which is 250,000 instructions a second. It's now running at 80 MHz, so about three times the speed increase. There were just some timing issues. I've moved some things around and got quite a nice speed up out of it. So, great success there. Um, I'll go to the display now. So, we've got the routine running on the processor which has got a nice screen buffer in RAM. It's going to empty that, put some text into it, and then write the text to the display. So I'll just show you that now. Press the switch over here, and text appears. It's actually just a string. We've got a print function, and the character's wrapping in the display because of the way it's laid out in the screen buffer. Uh, all works quite nicely. I won't go over the code for that now. If you follow the link in the description to my website, github.com forward slash ren6991, you can take a look through the code. It's all documented up there. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.